Why do we need the skill of estimation? Well, estimation can help us check the reasonableness of our numerical answers, to check if our answer is in the ballpark or approximately what one might expect. Estimation is an underutilized skill and often overlooked. Do you think there is something not quite right with this scale or pencil? Knowing roughly the length of a pencil is an estimate to help determine errors or wrong information. Sometimes you need to know the context or the numbers in the situation. In this example, it should pique your interest that this pencil is 30 centimeters long. Doesn't that seem an unusually large pencil to you? Let's now look at estimating the result of a numerical calculation. Estimating the result of a calculation with small or large numbers can be done fairly quickly using orders of magnitude. Let's start with the simple calculation of 3 times 10 to the power of 9 divided by 3.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3. The order of magnitude of the answer can be gained by examining the powers alone. So, we calculate just 10 to the power of 9 divided by 10 to the power of minus 3. An easy way to remember dividing powers is cross the line and change the sign. In this case, the negative 3 at the bottom becomes positive 3 on the top, giving us 10 to the power of 9 times 10 to the power of 3. That is, 10 to the power of 12. 10 to the power of 12 tells us the order of magnitude of our answer, a million times a million. Sometimes making an estimation through observation is required. This is an image of the Telstra Stadium in Sydney, Australia, with a total seating capacity of 85,000. How might we estimate the number of seats in the area highlighted red? We start by estimating that this image shows approximately one third of this stadium. One third of the total seating of 85,000 is about 28,000. The area highlighted is estimated to be one thirtieth of the seating in the image. So dividing 28,000 by 30 tells us there are approximately 900 seats in the highlighted area. We help confirm this estimation by taking a closer look at the area highlighted. A rough count of the seats in this image confirms our estimate of 900 seats. Let's now undertake one further estimation from this image. Local knowledge tells us that rugby league is the code of football played at this stadium, so now we know the goalposts are 100 metres apart. Let's estimate the height of the goalposts in this image. Imagine the goalposts laid flat on the ground and estimate how many would fit in the 100 metres. The answer is approximately five times. This gives us an estimate of the height as approximately 20 metres. If we consult the rules for rugby league via a search of the web, then we find that the height of the goalpost should be 16 metres. Our estimate is fairly close in this case. We can estimate the height of the goalpost using a different approach. The rules of rugby league state that the crossbar on the goalpost is always three metres above the ground. So go ahead and estimate the height of the goalpost yourself. Is your estimate close to the official height of 16 metres? In this module, we introduced you to several approaches to estimation problems. We also demonstrated the use of approximations in the determination of numerical solutions. Finally, we demonstrated that, wherever possible, one should undertake additional checks to verify their answers.